Hi troops. Happy day after Christmas. I hope everyone's good. I um <clears throat> whoa. It's been crazy busy. Okay, so I do wanna kind of squeeze this in for you and then um I'll be back tomorrow. I'm just trying to get a thousand things done. Okay. A thousand trillion. And not to mention I went from Android, okay, to what is this? iPhone, okay? Not like you guys care, but I don't know what the fiddle sticks I'm doing, okay? So I just putting this aside and <laughs> I'm still working with the droid. I'm gonna lose my mind. Um so yeah, that's kind of what's going on with me right now, back and forth and downloading contacts and oh I did decide to get a new number okay um and I just added a phone because the other one's about to be paid off I'm just like yada 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 right but I'm looking at it as going into 2020 with only a handful of people having my phone number and I am completely content with that so I don't know if some of you might be dealing with that. Like, who do I write off? Who do I not write off? Who do I talk to? And, and in all reality, I have so much social media that if somebody really kind of wanted to get a hold of me, they could. So I'm not really too worried if they have my number or not. Because when I tell you, I, I'd say I don't probably want more than 10 people to have my phone number. So <laughs> there's that, you know, so... I'm totally looking forward to 2020, so I hope you are too. Um, chaos, you know, at Christmas, but it, it was absolutely sensational. We had a we had a blast. What a beautiful day yesterday. Um, but let's do a little mini review, and you know, I'll be back tomorrow to yappity yap with you. All right. So, oh, and today's the eclipse. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, let's see what we get, okay? Strength. So, this tells me you obviously went through something. Okay either passing judgment on you or someone else or I don't know if you yappity yapped with somebody got an argument or it's just a lot going on there's an opportunity to say something talk to somebody start something whether it's love whether it's work So there's some regret. So you would know exactly what this is or whom this is I'm referring to. Um, I don't know. You must have let something go in the past. And now, you know, someone's feeling a little regret. So we have reliability and satisfaction that came out the page of pens and the nine of cups. So there's that. Someone must feel like something's divine. Because you're, you're coming out swinging with two major arcana. So Ace of Wands, so this could be telling me you're dealing with a Leo or any type of fire sign um, with strength because that combo is not like usually like, oh, you know, um, some of you are about to get a burst of energy. It could be because this Ace of Wands is about energy, so you could be getting a burst of energy could be a Leo that needs a burst of energy. I'm looking at the eyes and it's like, ah, oh, shit. What do I do? And it's like looking, looking right up, you know? So. Let me 
You got temperance, all in moderation. Someone might be drinking to avoid something. I definitely see that. You have justice, equality. Jeez Louise. Okay, now you got four major arcana. Oh boy. Whoa, that flew out. Six of cups, memories. Yeah, you're definitely thinking about the past. Bringing balance to a situation or needing to have the balance but not quite having it. I think someone's definitely drinking too much. One more, please. One more. Ten of pence. This could have to do with the family and morals. Um, it's almost like, because this ten of pence is about leaving legacies. But I feel like somebody's not quite that satisfied. There's certain what money here. Could be a new job. Somebody's definitely having memories of something. I definitely think balance is necessary. I think there's a lack of balance for some of you. Yes, Lucy is snoring. Um, but justice is here for something to go in your direction, whether you like it or not. That's how that kind of works. <clears throat> this temperance, like I said, is all about moderation, so I don't know if you're drinking too much. There's there's a there's a new start, new opportunity, something with energy, adventure. Could be finances too. Tell me about the strength card. <clears throat> Cause I'm feeling it's more Leo energy, Leo Sag Aries. Okay, yeah, see, the King of Wands came flying out. So it you're definitely dealing with the fire sign. You know, I, I don't I don't know if right now they have lack of energy, lack of motivation. Tell me about the Ace of Wands because I can't tell if that's like, it definitely looks like attraction. Someone could be holding back. Usually the Strength card has somebody holding back. Um, ten of Swords, Finality. So, yeah, see, Strange. This had to have been a fire sign that you were dealing with in your past. There had to have been an opportunity something didn't go down. So it's almost like someone's bent out of shape. There's a lot of attraction, but you're not together. Tell me about judgment. So I think because somebody's passing judgment on themselves or just the situation they're in, yeah, see, they're very fond of somebody. They definitely adore somebody. There's definitely love. There was an opportunity. Something didn't go down. I, I don't even think they're wondering, can I have a second chance, to be honest with you? There's too much. I mean, maybe, you know, but there's a lot of regret. There's memories. There's this this family. There's, there's a dynamic here that's just not making sense. Because this person loves you, but is extremely upset, sad. It's more, it, is it more of just a fondness and attraction? You know? You asked me, they're regretting what went down in the past. Tell me about the Five of Cups, equality, justice. So there, there was love. That, you know, I, I can't imagine. I don't feel like that's gone. I don't feel like the attraction's gone. It's definitely gone. It's done. It's a finality. You are not with this person. Okay. But there's still attraction. There's still love. Someone's holding regret. Thinking about the past. But it doesn't... It, nothing's telling me here about restoring anything. You know, the Four of Wands came out. So somebody... I mean, the Four of Swords. So somebody is resting. You know, this one talks about repose. Um, tell me about temperance real quick. Because to me, it's the queen of wands. All right, so, damn, it's like a court couple. <sighs> She's determined. Maybe she needs to take things in moderation. She might be drinking a little much. I don't, I don't think so, but it's possible. That's two Sag energies. Somebody's in a lot of, the feminine is in Sag energy. The masculine is in Leo energy, Aries. 
Sag. So fire and fire. Even if you're not fire and fire, you could be freaking Pisces and, and Cappy, okay? It's, it's irrelevant. This is how the two of you are coming in. One needs to take action and the other one is just as determined. But something, it, it's like, I don't know. doesn't look like much is getting done about the situation it's like you're both at a standstill i don't know if you're both like fuck it be a shame but that's kind of what it looks like i'm not gonna lie to you because here's another opportunity there's like three opportunities here and they're all not taken i'm not gonna say they're missed but they're not being taken tell me about the page of pens so it looks like someone's gonna have a new start the Knight of Cups, so they want it, and the Page of Swords, so somebody's watching before they take action. Well, they definitely, I'm not even, I can't even tell you if they're going to take action. They want to, but there's nothing happening. The Knight of Cups does deliver messages. It is, hey, you want to go on a date, you want to get a coffee, you want to grab a drink. I, I kind of got feelings for you. I'm feeling you. Let's, let's, maybe we can do something. You know, um... So the masculine wants a new stat. Mind you, the depiction on these cards, troops, is all feminine. Um, which I did not know when I got the deck. But it's a beautiful deck. So it's the masculine energy coming in as fire, Leo, Aries, Sag. You know, hot for someone for sure. Definitely adore someone. Definitely fond of somebody. There's definitely love. But you, I'm telling you right now, you're not determined. The feminine's coming in as well as, as fire energy. Um, and the masculine does seem to be watching. They do seem to want a new start. You do make them happy. I'm not going to lie to you, but you guys are not together. I don't know if they have another family or what. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. But it's like <clears throat> the one that makes you happy is this Queen of Wands. And you got a lot of memories with someone. Or this is you fantasizing, having memories. We'll get to the bottom of it. But... Someone's like, yeah, see, someone, this, you could be dealing with an Aquarius too or an air sign, but this person, you know, um, you make this person happy. This, this energy here makes this person happy. Tell me about the Six of Cups. So it's the masculine, right? Tell me about those too many Six of Cups. You know, Seven of Wands, they're guarded. They, they need to be brave to either end this or approach this. Because it's looking straight up. So it's like, you could be dealing with somebody who's extremely brave. They're definitely curious with the situation. There's absolutely no question. There's just no progress. Okay. So this is either they're in a family and they can't do something right now. Or they're not going to do something, period. But they need to be brave to end this. They already ended this. So it obviously looks like there was a third party. But this is ended. Can't get this off of my fucking board. <laughs> um, so tell me about this Ten of Pence. But there's like opportunities everywhere. So it's it's very unfortunate. It is a very unfortunate situation. I'm not saying it's not gonna come together, but I, I can tell right now it's definitely not together. Yeah, see the Eight of Swords. Somebody feels trapped in inside a, a family situation. You know what I mean? Like, look at they all cluster fucked. Didn't I do a, a read the other day where I was like, what a cluster fuck? All right, the, someone's in a cluster fuck. He's in a cluster fuck, feeling trapped. You know. Um, let me pull your best advice. Your best advice. I gotta check this with child. Best advice, high priestess in a wisdom. So I guess that's basically it's your intuition, right? There's a there's definitely a dependency here. There's a habit. Someone's dependent on someone. There's a code codependency something. You got the Queen of Swords. Somebody's dedicated to someone. Someone is clearly with someone. And again, this is justice balance, but this is, to me, this is, someone's dependent on someone. So the person you're dealing with is feeling, you know, trapped in a situation, and this is them right now, which is extremely unfortunate. To me, they're probably not using their intuition. 
I don't know what to tell you, troops. It's a tough situation that I just, I can't seem to get off my board. You know? For those who are not dealing with this, you know, I, I feel like you need strength to, to move forward after ending something. Stay determined. Stay focused. Regain your balance. Yeah, I know you got feelings for somebody, but it is what it is. Don't 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 you dare stay in this energy. Especially, especially if you're not talking to this well, person. Well, we said 13 minutes away. So or a situation I'm like waiting. that. Give me a kiss, Budsky. I love you so much. Love you. I love you. Oh, I love you. Love you. Oh, I love you more. Hi, sweetie. Uh-huh. Seriously? I, um, I guess if I have to. I'm not too happy about that. Can you get dropped off now? Can you, can you just ask? I mean, I literally just got home. I haven't sat all day. Just find out. Call me back. Just find out, text me back if you can get dropped off. All right, love you, bye. Huh? Oh, well, I'm working. Okay. Love you, bye. Sorry, freaking A. I, I, I can't get a minute to myself, which is all good. Um... Don't, I hope you're not this other person. I, I feel like this, you know, gosh, fuck. Tough scenario, troops. Um, seriously. You know, they would never have me try to talk you out of something. They would have me show you a certain way. So I feel like... You know, the Queen of Swords doesn't seem to be best advice for the Queen of Wands, not the Swords. Somebody is held up in a situation. Remain remain who you are. Okay, pull the authentic, but hold on. You're resting. You, you got abundance and happiness coming your way. Okay, so you've healed from this situation. So just because I'm still reading it, someone's keeping you alive within their energy, it, it's, it's got to be destiny, I, you know, it is what it is, I don't know how much longer this is going to continuously happen to you, uh, or be in this situation, because, again, you've healed from the situation, you, you moved on, it's, it's, it's not there, and you're about to have a new start, and, and be happy, This other person's keeping your energy alive. You guys must have quite the connection. So I, I guess tomorrow we'll have to talk about that. I'll have to do a read for you guys, give you your best advice, what direction to go in. I, I feel like you guys set yourself free anyway. I don't feel like you feel bogged down by any means. You know? but we can't seem to escape this. If you're the wife and, and the husband, whatever, I, I don't I don't know what you guys are going to do. You're either going to make it work or, or you're, not, you're not. But that tells me that this masculine is still fantasizing about the Queen of Wands because he's keeping something alive. Whether this feminine moved on or not, it looks like the feminine moved on. So to be honest with you, I don't, I don't know how this is going to go down. Um, but something might be getting eclipsed out, you know, hopefully some shit gets eclipsed out energies. Okay. Because this, this doesn't seem healthy to me. All right. I love you guys so much is I got to deal with the chicklins now. Okay. Uh, talk to you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye.